today with Dr. Ibrahim Jaffe, who will be coming to the Twin Cities March 8th through the 10th for a workshop entitled The Four Doors, Finding Real Meaning and Fulfillment in Your Life. Now, during this weekend, Ibrahim will reveal Sufi spiritual teachings to help open four areas of our lives. Now, Ibrahim, one of the doors you talk about is divine relationship. Can you say a little bit about how Sufi teachings can help us to open more deeply to relationships, I guess, first with ourselves and then with others? Yes, yeah, sure, Matt. I mean, the first thing is that um, in most relationship work people do, they're working to bring their personalities together. So if you go, for example, if you go on the websites and you look at the dating situation out there, people are looking for matches, people that get along with each other. We call that in the self. You know, you like to go hiking together. You like to do things together. And that's valuable, and it helps the outside of your relationship work. But the inner aspect of the relationship is much deeper, which is are your hearts really going to be able to fall in love with each other? If you do fall in love, can you continue with the love? Will you be able to deepen the love? Will you be able to bring the love into the soul levels itself where you experience what people call soulmates, which is really that soul love that happens between two people? Now, there are ways to do this, and the Sufi tradition teaches people through a series of, of basically meditations and uh, practices how to bring the hearts together, uh, how to find someone, first of all, that would be the right spiritual partner, then how to bring those hearts together and then deepen those hearts to be able to reach to have a truly spiritual connection to someone. And then the final piece, of course, is what do you do when you get in trouble? Because that's what happens in most relationships is that they get in trouble in time. And this is where these, these uh, teachings are, are really stellar in being able to help people to be able to walk through the issues. As long as both partners are trying, you can walk through almost any issue and come to a place of true love with each other. Sounds like, Ibrahim, you're talking about really going beyond, going deeper than the, the surface aspects of a relationship and learning how to connect at a really very much deeper um, parts of our own beings. Is that right? That's right. Learning to connect with yourself because you have to know your own heart and the love in your deeper heart and, and of course, clear whatever veils or obstructions are keeping you from loving yourself. Have you been hurt? You know, uh, what has, might, might cause you to close your heart down? You know, how do you open that up again? Because the love, when it starts to flow, it really does flow. And then, of course, the other thing is from that flowing place of love, how do you connect with somebody else? And then the two of you join together in a very, very deep state of oneness. And that's the real beauty of relationship. When you start to have that oneness with somebody, that's extraordinary. This is the real beauty of relationship. Well, Ibrahim, this is a, a big area for, uh, for most people. Um, I appreciate your insights today and really look forward to being with you and um, going much more deeper into this when you're in the Twin Cities on uh, March 8th through 10th at the Richardson Nature Center in Bloomington. So, Ibrahim, thank you very much, and we look forward to being with you. Yeah, thank you very much as well, and I look forward to uh, being with the people in your community. Thank you.